I'm Paul, I'm CEO of the Shark Trust. We're a globally active, but based here in the UK, shark conservation charity. Um, and uh, this year is special because it's our 25th anniversary. So the 25th is important because it's a kind of milestone in our existence. Um, I guess as a conservation charity, you kind of want to put yourself out of business because you don't want to have to exist, but we do. Everything we do takes a long time because we work on kind of policy change and changing practice in the fishing industry. And so you need that longevity. So 25 years is a really important milestone um, for us. Um, over the years, we've got a few, quite a few significant achievements. I think probably one of the biggest ones is the um, EU finning regulation that was achieved in 2013. So finning is obviously something that people are well aware of um, and it's, a, um, it's an issue that's kind of cast a shadow over shark conservation for many, many years. Um, in 2003, we were part of a, uh, getting the first EU finning regulation, um, but pretty soon it became apparent that there were loopholes in that. And so we pulled together the Shark Alliance, which is a group of collaborative NGOs around Europe to push the European Commission towards a stronger um, finning ban. And that was achieved in 2013 and that means that all EU vessels, which is a huge fishing, fishing fleet, now has the strongest uh, finning regulation in place and that then influences fisheries further afield. So that was a really important milestone and it allows us to move on to our kind of next phase of activity that we're now in. Our big push now is on fisheries. I mean, it's always everything that we do is around fisheries. Um, overfishing is the key threat that faces pretty much every shark species. A, a recent report um, put out that about a third of shark and ray species, there's about 1,200 different um, types of shark and ray, and about a third of those are threatened with extinction. And in 100% of the cases, the reason for that is overfishing. So that's the challenge that we have to, uh, that we have to face. And so our efforts now are really kind of gearing up in that action, not only in kind of national fisheries and regional fisheries, but in international fisheries. So we're working very hard on um, international fisheries, particularly the high seas, where you've got huge fleets of very large industrial vessels, which are um, stripping uh, life out of the sea. And so we're really kind of targeting getting sustainable science-based catch limits in place for sharks and rays on those fisheries to really kind of give a better future for sharks and rays.